been a day. It's been a night. The COVID-19 starts to go away and it's getting okay. Good day students. Welcome to our 7th online class. This is teacher Jim, your science teacher for this semester. And our topic for today is all about animal body parts. So what are the parts or what do you call to the parts of animals guys? Now look at this picture. What is this one? What is that? What is that? So that's what we will discuss today. Are you excited? Okay, let's start. So this is the head of the brain. But what do you call to this one? That is called everyone say the word beak. Again, beak. Say it. Very good. Now let's spell B E A K. Beak. Okay. So beak is the we use beak or the birds use beak to eat the food or to eat those grim. So that's the beak, guys. Be careful to that. Next, what is this? What do you call to the hair of the cat near in, 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 in its mouth? The answer is, again, say the word, everyone, whiskers. Whiskers. Everyone say it, whiskers. Okay, let's spell W-H-I-S-K-E-R-S. Whiskers. Very good. Next. Hmm. What is this? It's an elephant. Now, what do you call to this very long mouth of elephant? Is that a mouth? No, it's not a mouth. It's a nose. No, it's not a nose. But that is called, everyone, trunk. Trunk. Say the word, trunk. Very good. Now, let's spell T-R-U-N-K. Trunk. Very good. The use of this one is to pick something for the elephants to eat. Have you seen this one? In Sriracha Tiger Zoo, there's a lot of elephants there. So, that is called trunk. Next. This one, guys, what is that one? Without this one, the birds cannot fly. That is called, everyone, wing. Wing. Say the word, wing. Very good. Now, spell W-I-N-G. Wing. Okay. But if there's two, that is called wings. There's letter S. If there's two, guys. Next. Next is feather. Everyone, feather. Say the word feather. Okay, let's spell F E A T H E R. Feather. So, what animals have feather? The birds, the chicken, the rooster, or the hen, or the peacock. They have feather. Okay, they have like this one. Next. So another example of feather, this one, the fur, everyone say the word fur, fur, so the fur is this one guys, from a tiger, or from the lion, or from the dog, from the cat, they have fur, so to make, it, uh, to make it more visible, so this is fur guys, F U R or fur, this one, so it's the hair of the dog, the cat, the lion, or the tiger. Say the word fur. Everyone, fur. Spell F U R. Fur. Very good. Next. Everyone, what is this? A fish. So a fish have fin. Everyone, fin. Fin. Okay. Very good. Now spell. F I N Fin. Next. Oh, what is this? A dog. A dog has a tail. Very good. Everyone, tail. Say it. Very good. Now let's spell T A 
I L. Tail. Very good, guys. Mm, this one. What is this? Reindeer. So, a reindeer have everyone horn. Horn. Say the word horn. Very good. Now let's spell H O R N. Horn. Very good, guys. Next. This one, the hair of the horse, that is called mane. Mane. Say the word. Very good. Now let's spell M A N E. Mane. Okay, guys. Next. What do you call to this one of the elephant? And this is very expensive. Very expensive. That is called tusk. Everyone, task. Task. Very good. So, let's spell. T-U-S-K. Task. Okay. Next. Mm. This is a baby tiger. The baby tiger have, and also the dog have like this, and also the cat. So, it is called, this one, this is called, Called what? This is called everyone say the word pole. 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 Okay, let's spell P A W. Pole. Very good. Next. Mm, what is this one? The cat have that one. The tiger have that one. So what is that? The dog have that one. That is called Everyone, claws. Claws. This one, they are called claws. So, let's spell C L A W S. Claws. You should, uh, you need to be careful if the cat or the dog have claws. It's very dangerous. Now, this is the elephant animal. So I will explain to you, or I will tell you, what are the parts of elephant. Now, number one part is the body. This one is the body of elephant. Next, the elephant has also a tail. This one is the tail of elephant. Next, the legs. This one are legs of elephant. Elephant have four legs. Next, ears. Human have ears, animals or elephant have ears as well. And then, this is the task. I said this is very expensive, right? That's task. And this is trunk. An elephant used that one so that the elephant can eat food. So, trunk. Next, lion. The lion has mane like the horse, the hair of horse or the hair of animal or a lion called mane and then this one or what we call jaws mm, that one and also the lion have pole have claws this one look that's claws and also the lion have tail as well next the tiger tiger have eyes nose tongue fur and whiskers, this one. Same with the cat, they have whiskers. And also fur. Next. The eagle or the bird. They have feather, head, the big guys, the one that I told you here. The wings, the tail. Bird has also tail, this one. And the claws. So claws is used so that it can get an animal that the bird or the eagle can eat. Next, the goldfish. Goldfish have eyes, have gills. So goldfish can get air through the gills, this one. Next, scales. This one are scales. The fins so that uh, the fish can swim. The fins, this one above and also here in the bottom and also the tail so the fish have a tail as well 
the short, the fin, have fin, have gills, eyes, jaws, fins is on top and at the bottom, and also the shark have tail as well. Evaluation time! All you need to do is to answer the worksheet that I gave to you. Don't be lazy or don't be tired. You need to answer that one because so that you will learn what I discussed today. This is how we will do it, guys. Okay, instruction. Find the word. Choose the right parts of the body. So this one, this is the red arrow. So what is this? Head, neck, or teeth? That is the teeth of the shark. So all you need to do is to circle the That's it. So continue in answering, guys. Good luck. Thank you for listening. This is Teacher Jim, your science teacher, zooming up. Until our next online class. Bye bye.